Hello, uh, welcome back. Uh, this time we are going to show you how to make delicious uh, organic bread and uh, we will make it in three stages. Uh, many people think that uh, they put off the idea of uh, home baking bread because they have this perception that it's complicated, it's messy and it takes over your, your day when it really the opposite is true. Uh, you can do it very easily in three stages which I'm, I'm going to talk you through uh, right now. Uh, so let's start with the uh, ingredients. Uh, we usually, or we, we usually use uh, Waitrose Dutchy Organic um, Strong White Bread Flour, but you can use any other flour. It's obviously strong, strong flour, uh, and you can, there's there's all sorts of uh, wholemeal or malted or with grain or whatever. It, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but for, for for our purpose, we're using white flour today. So it's 500 uh, grams. So it's uh, basically half a kilo if you've got a, uh, a kilo packet or, or a third of a kilo if you've got a 1.5 kilo, which this is. So you measure it and uh, you put it in a big mixing bowl. Uh, I've also prepared a, um, a greased bowl to put the dough once I've mixed it. So that's very important. Then uh, you add uh, a teaspoon of salt um, into, into the, directly into the, um, into the flour. Uh, you need some yeast. Uh, these sachets are normally available in all supermarkets, and they, they are six gram uh, sachet of dried yeast. But you can use any other any other kind of yeast, just an equivalent measure. Uh, and just uh, open the sachet and pour in, into your mix. Very easy. You will also need um, two hundred and sixty five milliliters of lukewarm water. So um, it's it's quite important for it to be Luke, but don't worry too much about it if you can't if you can't get it Luke. Uh, but yeah, it's two hundred and sixty five grams, and it's quite important to keep to the measurements, otherwise you get uh, very wet dough or very dry. So try and keep to measurements as much as you can, and literally just pour the water onto your mix. Then the next step is I've already got some uh, lightly oiled hands. Uh, that's uh, a little tip I can I can give you uh, because it will get very messy now because this is where you mix and you can use a wooden spoon if you want I normally just dive in straight with my with my hands and just mix very very well uh, it, it is it is messy as you as you can see but it will soon begin to mix and hopefully you'll end up with some form of a, a ball of dough um, just keep working it keep working it don't worry too much about it sticking to your fingers it will it will come off eventually uh, and just keep on working it it shouldn't take more than two or three minutes uh, until you get a ball and just keep incorporating all the loose flour onto the main body of the dough So now you should end up with um, with a, a ball, something like this, and um, yeah, just make it into a ball. Make sure it's all nice and compact, and just pop it into your oiled bowl. Yeah. So now you wash your hands and um, you're ready to um, cover the bowl. Uh, clean, clean kitchen towel. Uh, that's all you need really, uh, and just uh, literally put it over the bowl and leave it somewhere dry and reasonably warm uh, you know draft you know away from drafts uh, for a minimum of 40 minutes but you can leave it longer this is the beauty of this three stage um, uh, home baking process where you've done the first part literally takes two, three minutes four minutes maybe to do the first part and then you can leave it and you can come back to it no um, no sooner than 40 minutes any any time after 40 you can leave it for a couple of hours you can go shopping Go and do a part-time job, you know, write a memo, whatever it is that you want to do, and come back, and then start phase two, uh, which we will show. Uh, we'll show you in, the, in, the, in a little while. Welcome to uh, part two of uh, baking your own your own bread at home, and uh, like like we said in part one, um, we just mix the dough, and we leave it to prove uh, in a dark, uh, reasonably warm corner for at least forty minutes. In this case, we've been more probably two or three hours. 
which proves a point that you can just leave it until you're ready. So we, um, as you can see, it's grown in size quite considerably. It's more than doubled, which is, that's exactly what you're looking for. Uh, and then just literally, um, oh yes, a, a good tip, if you don't want to, um, um, you know, to get to get uh, flour and, and the dough stuck to your hands, uh, just grab some olive oil and um, literally rub it in your hands, so your hands are nice and oily, and then pick up the dough and um, put it on your on your board. Uh, you might need a little bit of flour just to uh, keep things a little bit uh, so that they don't get stuck. But just sprinkle a little bit of flour and maybe some in your hands like this and then just knead away you need to um, knead the bread for at least 15 minutes and there's no cheating because um, you can't over knead it but you can under knead it so uh, do it for at least 15 minutes just keep on folding it on itself turning it around and folding it turning it around and folding it if it gets sticky or or, um, or, or too wet then you can add some more flour as you need it, but don't don't overdo it. Uh, if your dough has um, proved properly and, and well, and the temperatures are right, and you can never predict this, then you should need a minimum amount of flour and just just keep on kneading uh, for, like I said, fifteen minutes. I've been kneading away for. Uh, about 15 minutes and uh, I now have a very supple and elastic uh, dough um, and this is where the end of part two comes which is uh, basically you make a shape any, any, any shape you like so I normally do this and um, then you get it ready for baking you can do one of two things you can either use um, a tin loaf, a loaf tin, uh, which you like the oil and then you just put your dough in there. Uh, but uh, I normally prefer to use uh, one of our pizza bases, this metal pizza base, which I've lightly floured. I literally just put the dough in the middle and leave it, leave it there for at least 20 minutes uh, and it usually doubles in size and then we'll show you part three of our home baked bread. Okay, this is uh, part three of uh, the uh, home baking bread exercise. And uh, we've left uh, the, uh, the dough to prove uh, for, well, it's over 20 minutes, probably about half an hour now. And as you can see, it's grown. It really has, which is really good. Uh, right now you can do one of two things. You can leave it as it is, or you can do shapes with a knife if you want to. I normally just leave it and I just pop it into an oven uh, on 200 degrees centigrade for about 25 minutes. And then uh, you should have some delicious home baked, organic home baked bread. Okay, it's been uh, nearly 30 minutes of cooking and our loaf should be ready. Here we go. Home baked bread. So uh, to check that it's cooked, uh, it's quite, quite simple really. You just turn it upside down and you bang. I don't know if you can hear that, but it sounds pretty hollow to me. So basically you're looking for a hollow sound and that sounds pretty hollow. And then just uh, put it on a wire rack to cool. Uh, in case, if it isn't uh, cooked, if it isn't sounding hollow, then uh, you can always put it back in the oven for another uh, five minutes maximum. Uh, oh no, it's turn the oven off and let it uh, finish cooking in the residual heat from the oven. And there you go, you've got a homemade delicious loaf um, to enjoy.